Here they tell us that lines AB and CD, right? So here's AB and here's CD, and they cross at E to form vertical angles CEA, that's this angle right here, and BED, that's this angle right here. What is the value of each angle? They use algebra to write out each angle, right? They say that this angle is a half x plus 1, right? So that, that algebraic expression represents our first angle. And here with this angle, they use this expression 4 fifths x minus 1 tenth x. So because we have two lines crossing, the angles across from each other here are called vertical angles. They're equal to each other. So here to find the value of each angle, we find the value of x, right? And then we can use that to find the value of the angles. And since both angles are equal, we just find one angle measure, and then we have both. So here, um, what I would do is start by combining like terms. 4 fifths x, I take 4 fifths and double 4 to 8 and 5 to 10 because that's an equivalent fraction. And now I can quickly subtract, right? 8 tenths minus 1 tenth. So both in terms of tenths. So now I can solve. 8 tenths, take 1 tenth away. That's 7 tenths. So we have 7 tenths x equals 1 half x plus 1. Well, I'm going to take 1 half x away from both sides, and my reasoning there is I just want to get this number 1 all by itself. And now what I have is, well, these cancel out, and 1 equals 7 tenths minus 1 half. Now, 1 half, you might recognize, is the same as 5 tenths x, right? These are equivalent. So, taking 7 tenths, right? We subtract 5 tenths, and we have 2 tenths of x left. We reduce 2 tenths to 1 fifth. And now we have 1 fifth x equals 1. And to solve here, I multiply both sides by 5 because we have a fifth, and I want to undo that by multiplying by the reciprocal. So 1 fifth times 5 is just 1. So we have 1x, or just x, and x equals 5 times 1, or 5. So this is the measure of x, but they want the value of the angles. I'm going to plug it into my second equation here. It shouldn't matter. They're both equivalent, right? So we have 1 half of 5, right? plus 1. So 5 is, 1 half of 5 is 2.5, plus 1 is 3.5. So here we have 3.5 degrees. That's the ma measure of each angle. Although this is, is not really a great question. I, I don't like this because these angles clearly are more than 3.5 degrees. So, you know, with a problem like this, I guess, you know, there are, there's no mistakes here in the algebra. Um, so in this, you know, as we balance the equation, we did every step right, and you end up with this odd result. That's okay. That happens sometimes in these problems. Although I would question this result. Um, clearly, uh, these angles don't equal uh, three and a half degrees. Thanks.